panels by itself like this, it's really vulnerable. But the second we put the second panel up, the square to it, a perpendicular panel, and we just tie one fastener up top, it becomes really rigid. Okay. So what's going to happen is we're going to want to make sure this is cleaned out, and you're going to want to make sure like this type of thing gets scraped off, so we don't have any bulging off sure. of here. You know, a, a battery-powered leaf blower is really nice. You know. You guys have the Milwaukee set. Milwaukee makes a really good one. You know, just to blow stuff off. You're gonna put a bead of um, of sealant or of, of, of uh, glue up against the plate. This is the, the fastening plate here. Okay. Down low. Yep. So that plate down there is structurally anchored to the foundation, and that's what we're actually anchoring the wall into. So the the, the most important connection on this on this wall panel is this bolt horizontally driven through the panel into this plate. Yep. Okay. So we want to also run a bead of glue across that. And so that's a glued and screwed connection. Okay. Does that make sense? So when we set this panel down, we have to have a couple things ready. One is we need to have um, we need to have the walker and another person who's going to be fastening the panel standing here to get the panel into the locate into the receiver place. Okay, you got to have somebody with a ladder and a nail gun and uh, and, a, and a brace ready to go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the nail gun and you're going to grab a little scab of two by. Okay, and you're going to walk up and you're going to tack it with the nail to this, and then you're going to side tack the brace back down to the floor and then you're going to come down and tack a, a block to the floor and tack it off. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to do it roughly in the middle of the panel. Okay. So about four feet in. How high up? Um, you're going to go to you're at about a 30 degree angle and generally you're probably you know as high up as you can reach off of that. Off there. But you'll see when you got a 16 foot sure. kind of where you want to be at. Sure. Okay. You see just a little bit of wind takes this thing off. Okay, so when this thing gets set in, before we allow the clamps to sort of fully release on the on the weight, we want that kicker in place. Mm -hmm. And then when they come down, we're gonna line up flush to here, because this next panel that comes out overlaps this and comes flush out to here. Okay? So this panel gets set in. Once it's set in, we're gonna tack one screw down at this side, and we'll tack one screw down at that side, and we got the brace in place, okay? And once we feel good about that, um, then we'll go ahead and we'll screw off the um, the rest of the truss ends and the, and the rim connections. Okay. Let's say it was out of level. This is the high corner. Mm -hmm. Then would you try to shim this or just sort of tack this corner and get this one and then jack that side that's, up? That's exactly right. So you tack one corner and then you would shim that side if you had to come up. Yeah. Right? But what we know is we're about an eighth yeah, over 24, so we won't even see it. Right. Yep. 24 house was high. This was a high yep. corner. Then you'd set this corner down, tack it, and then you would have a calculated uh, shimming schedule across. So you'd take your total, divide it by four panels. So let's say you were a quarter inch off, right? You would shim each panel a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so you put a you put a sixteenth inch shim at the splice so that the one panel would land on it, and then the start of the next. So you actually panel. shim up the whole thing instead of instead of stair stepping that. Correct. You're basically going to take the whole wall and move it like that. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Yep. So, let's um. We need some two more
reality is the fact that this next one comes in, that will film it up. And so you just want to give it enough room so that they don't interfere. You just A little gap at the top. <laughs> Good thing he can't hear you. Shut up, old man. It's sit in your chair. <laughs> now, exactly one bottom. So flush up, flush yep. up your bottom edge to your left. Yep. Up along the right seam down here. The vertical seam. We'll attach them actually. Yeah, use your foot. Come on, you got a sledgehammer right behind you. Make sure you're not over. What? You, you It's not sitting down. There you go. on that ladder and go up another okay. just want to tack it for too long enough to screw okay. so go up about yeah as high as you can reach you do the same thing there okay knock it hey Nick Outside in or inside out? Outside in. These are finished walls. Those are finished. Yeah. All right. So they got to hit everything with a sander then to get. 
Okay. Alright, one of you guys grab the corner and I'll direct John, yep. why don't 